So, um, probably, I don't know, four, four or five months ago, I get a call or I get an email from uh, John De Laurentiis. He, he wrote a review of us, I think it was for Soon, that album. And he asked me, are you, you know, he wrote to, to Shadowfields. He asked me if I was from Damascus. I'm like, yeah, I am. And then he said who he was, and he said, are you interested in talking to somebody who might want to release your uh, old catalog? I'm like, well, I wasn't going to do anything with it. <laughs> it was just kind of like laying in wait kind of thing. But I talked to them. They called me, had a couple hour conversation. They sent me a contract. Um, they're they're going to release the... They released all of it. Um, I sent them the best versions of all the songs that I could find um, that I digitized back in 2000. Um, I wish I could have got stuff off. We recorded a bunch of stuff on that uh, eight track reel to reel. You remember that 388? 388. That, yeah. that then I think you bought off of me and then mm -hmm. it promptly died. It yeah. Died and I it was, <clears throat> had a situation where I had to get rid of it quick. That was, a, that was a nice machine, though. I did a lot of demos on that machine. Anyway, go ahead. Um, so they asked me to do that, um, to send them all that stuff. And then I said, well, there's other stuff that, you know, might be, you know, we did the demo uh, that might be worth releasing. Um, and I said, oh, send that along, too. And I sent it on to John first, and, and uh, he had to listen to the stuff. He said, yeah, yeah, that, that's good. And then I started digging in deeper, and then at some point, I realized we'd written an entire album. Mm -hmm. We just never put it out. Mm -hmm. um, and so I was like, well, what can I do with these, with these songs at this point? And I mean, <laughs> we're 30 years out from uh, when they were written, and some of them were on a boombox. Yeah, have you gotten your copy yet? Yeah, I did. Did you listen I to it? Four copies. Did you listen to it yet? Yeah. But the first seven songs from the first from the first one from disc one yeah. okay disc two has the um unreleased album and they said what, what's the title of that album and so i said it's going to be called the turning tide you know since that's, that's my right. favorite song of the of that album and uh those those were your best <laughs> lyrics there thanks they were there did you read the liner notes and stuff like that? I, I read it all the way through the... read what, it all. What did, what did you think? I thought it was terrific. Really, really well. And <laughs> at, first, at first when I read the one that was on the... Um, that was on the computer when they were saying... Uh, um, how to get ready for the pre-orders. There was a write-up. Oh, no, no, no. no. The, you sent me a copy of the website that you did a long time ago. Mm -hmm. and you, but you had a new write-up on there, I think. A newer write-up. And you were talking about the apathy of the band. Not apathy or, of the band, yeah, but the, the industry. I know, but when right. I first read it, I thought it was saying that we were apathetic. Mm, we were certainly <laughs> not. <laughs> no, we were pretty intense most of the mm -hmm. time. Okay. Yeah. To say the least. <laughs> and I forgot the point I was trying to make. But no, I, I did. I hope I worded. No, I thought it was really. I thought it was really good. It's hard to go back thirty years and remember all your feelings. And uh, they wanted to ask me about various songs, like what the song was about, you know, and uh, what was your favorite song on this album, on this album, and I was like, oh, okay, <laughs> trying to put everything together. But on the very, uh, on the Turning Tide um, album, uh, one of the songs is, um, there's one that you wrote the words for. It was uh, So the Story Goes. Oh, sure. Yeah. The only copy of So the Story Goes is a, um, a boom box. Uh, remember, remember we used to record... You used to record yes, so you could remember how the songs yeah, went. I had my two track practice. Panasonic boombox. <laughs> it's a great machine. 
<laughs> well, that that song and I think possibly one, that one and uh, what ends up being the very last song on the anthology, um, which is the one that we never had any words for. Um, they're boombox, mm -hmm. and I was like, all right, what am I going to do with a boombox? I all I, all I have is this crappy stereo recording of a boombox, and it just <laughs> it just happened that. Um, there was an upgrade to some software that I use that allowed me oh, to to uh, extract a lot of the material and rebalance it. Because also like, uh, what was that, uh, Time is a Tool, mm -hmm. that clicking sound, you know, and the, the, the clock the sound the in, the in, in the middle <laughs> of the bridge would tick -tick 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 <laughs> it was so damn loud. I was like, "This is so loud! I I can't use this." But that's the only recording we ever had. So I found a way to just lower just those a bit so they blended in a little bit more. It it's still not perfect, you know. It's what it was. But uh, when I sent them all the stuff, they listened to it all and they said, "We want to release the whole thing, including the." Cause I think. Their thinking was that okay, this is a um, unreleased album by this band, and you know they're the only ones that are ever going to get a chance to do anything with this. So, um, so it was kind of fun. Yeah, it was, it was a lot, a lot of work. I took off work a few days when I it was getting down to the crunch where they were like, we have to have this material on Monday, you know, and it was sometime in the previous week and I'm like I cannot even go to work because I I this this is a mountain of stuff that has to happen to these to get it to the point and they gave it to their own mastering guy I said I'll remaster the whole thing and they said no no we got a mastering guy I don't know how he did because I haven't listened to the CD but uh, uh, I assume it's fine um, it's, better than fine. it's quite impressive <laughs> yeah. I have not I have not seen it. I didn't open it. Oh I guess I, I haven't seen it either. So you you are the first. <laughs> I came home. Somebody came to work today with it and said, Can I get this signed? And I said, I don't even want to see it because I want to see it with the guys. Yeah. I'm sorry, <laughs> I did that. No that <laughs> I'm teasing. Well, we gotta do this, you know, once I miss it. <laughs> Oh, I happened to get home early today, and I was sitting in the mailbox, and Gene was out getting her nails done. And I thought, should I open it? No. Yeah. And she came home, and I see you got your thing from Rock Records. <laughs> so I couldn't resist. Went through like a hundred revisions. Really? Because, like, there's a typo on this, that word is not the right word in this song. Uh, the name of that song is not that, it's this, you know, there was, oh boy. each time we went through it, there was another whole list of things that we had to resolve. But, you know, they just kept at it and kept at it, and uh, I guess John ended up working as the editor for the whole thing. Um, so, it worked out quite so well. who's Bill? Bill? Bill is the owner of Rocks Records. Oh, okay. Is Mark. Oh, cool. He wants to do, uh, Mark would like to do FaceTime because he doesn't have um, an Android and he's all set up do you need my on his tablet. Phone? Can we, could mm -hmm. we do it on your phone? Mm -hmm. How about we switch places? Hello. 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 Mark, it's Tom, Dave, and Cliff. And Cliff. No way. <laughs> Are we on? Oh, there we go. Oh, uh, uh, we are. Oh, hang on. Oh, hang on. Hang on. Let me go on my iPad. <laughs> What's that? Well, quick, come on over there. Um, well, we don't see you yet. That's because you need to have that picture okay. smaller. We need. To, I don't. Maybe you could take care of this, Heather, because I don't do. Oh, there we go. Oh, oh, okay. oh. Hey, hey, hey. Hi. 
Dun, okay. dun, dun. We are all gonna, here, let, let's, uh, how do I get back to him? There we go. Okay, Mark, let's start opening, shall we? Yeah, let's do it. Wait a second, did either of you guys want to open it? We're yes. not going to say. Oh, oh no. gee. I did not. This is mine. Hey, you didn't buy it yet. <laughs> <laughs> I got four. I got well, oh. Down over there. I, oh, look at that. A fancy looking sticker. The first hundred or whatever. Yeah, hey, wait. I put it from the sticker. There it is. Did right. you, you get a sticker? I think that was an ad. Hang on. I didn't get a sticker. Oh, yeah. I don't think That's so. nice. That's one of the best stickers we've ever had. <laughs> <laughs> Might be one of the only stickers we ever had. Well, I guess we did have some other ones. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> They're almost bumper quality. <laughs> and you can see all the other Rocks Records artists that are being promoted right now. Wow. Which That's are all metal. Cool. <laughs> Okay, and then we have the CD. That's so cool. I don't, know, I don't know how this came together, but this is, uh, this is just insane. This is... We were just talking about that. It's really cool. I think... It's a miracle. Um, give me just one second. I heard your vocals on the first... the first song on the... The first uh -oh. CD. I did. No, I no, it was great. Nothing separates <laughs> me from your love. I cannot wait to listen to this in the car. I'm going to just crank it up in the car. That's my that's my uh, listening room. My car. <laughs> I don't have a. Uh... I know a lot of people don't have. Not even in the car, Sonny. It's because you have the older car. I have computers. I'll put it on a computer first before I do anything. <laughs> yeah. Uh, I'm, here, we'll go ahead and open that. Well, I'm I'm just trying to look up something so I get John's last name correct. I don't want to blow that. You know, it's it's, it's a little bit like Fort Knox. So, like if you take yeah. if you take yeah, dealer What? No. Okay. So I'm all thumbs. Look at these. You pr <laughs> maybe you don't. I already opened up one side of it. Which side? This side? The other side, probably. There. Thank you. Um, so... This is it. I hope you're recording this whole thing. We are. Okay, great. Because it's like, uh, never mind, we can't get it open. All right. <laughs> <laughs> There'll be a lot of copious amounts of editing. Oh, good. Yeah, you know how to edit. That's great. So, you got yours? Hold your copy up, Mark. There it is. Hold, hold, you have to hold it up so we can be, there you go. No, oh, that's exciting. You didn't take the plastic off. Did you take the plastic off? No, I can't get it off. <laughs> 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 I don't know if I want to open it. It's like, you know, Christine collectible. We can order more. Oh, that's right. Okay, so. Okay. That's the first thing I did too. Just yeah, it's it got to right be right side, side up. up. Yeah, <laughs> we can do that though. And that's a door. Wow. Nice picture on the inside for us there. Isn't that great? Which picture? What, what do we have? I forget where that was at. That's the Damascus Band. Pick. Oh, that was. Uh, we set up in one of the classrooms, and we set up all our gear behind oh, us, okay. and we had a ton of different pictures from that photo shoot. Do you remember when we played at the St. John's uh, Catholic School in Stringwood? The one where I was wearing the super tight white pants? There's a picture of me in there. That's what I told you. <laughs> I said, that's on the stage. And There's Catholic. a picture of that in here? Because I don't remember that, and I'm not sure I'm going to go to that page. <laughs> Too much after dinner, right? <laughs> There's a whole uh, bunch of pictures uh, in there. The, uh, I don't know. If yeah, in the uh, liner note things, you and Cliff in that first picture, that is awesome. Uh, <laughs> that is good. Surprisingly, it doesn't. Oh, they did not. They don't have a. They don't have a picture from that show. Are you sure? There's a whole compilation in there. 
I know I saw that, but that's that doesn't have. No, it's missing that picture. Aww. See, that's <laughs> the one that was I was talking about. That oh no, that's not the one I was talking about. The one I was talking about was much earlier on, like we were like in some uh, some room. And there's some pictures of me playing a keyboard with, or playing my guitar with, with the uh, the knee high moccasins. Remember those? Yeah. Oh yeah. And then I remember getting in a lot of trouble because of those pants. <laughs> that that some somebody was offended by the pants. Okay, the pants are in uh, the picture. Uh, the first picture with all the collage pictures over yeah, it, yeah, but that's not that show. Oh, okay. And, and I don't know if I'm even wearing the boots on that in that one. I must be though. Hey, I don't remember that picture on that either because I don't quite own a jean jacket. I never did. Can't be because we were all dressed up. I don't know. Where was that been from? That one up here. Good question. I don't know. I'm not that dressed up. Yeah, that, this is a really nice. Oh, oh, the one I'm talking, the one I'm talking about is right dead center. Okay, hang on. I'm playing guitar, leaning back, and and looking like every bit the rock star. <laughs> oh, got a little nudge going on there. Yeah. <laughs> Trademark backbend uh, guitar. Oh, absolutely, absolutely. <laughs> I, I just remember getting yelled at about the pants. So. Uh. <laughs> Do you have one with your tank uh, driving? Uh, 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 so. I'm looking for the tank driving outfit. Uh, oh yeah, the second picture, uh, uh, upper left, second picture. There it is. Yeah. Yeah, the German tank suit, which the, with the. Uh, yeah, this is really the uh, sewn-in pads to play. Mm -hmm. I, you know, I sold that to another band. Really? Yeah. Huh. That was such a cool idea. And he's a good friend of ours. Yeah. Michael. Um, he used to be. Michael, a, yeah, Michael J. My boss, Michael J. Fittick. New Odyssey. He played in a band called Did New you Odyssey. You saw the hat too. Didn't you have a trigger in your hat too? No, I didn't. Yeah. I never would wear a hat, Dave. It was never a hat. I thought you had one. idea. I thought you had one. Yeah, that was the And the solo. Uh, no, I, I don't think I had so this, that. This, this is a total of, uh, what, five albums? Five albums. That's so amazing. It, and the only song that is not on here that we ever wrote March was March and Magog. And that's, yeah. and I, I came close to using it, but we only recorded it the one time at the church as we were trying to get ready to record the first EP, and then we just warmed up on that, one, and I sang it horribly, words dropped out, it was just a, it was a rotten recording, there was no salvaging it, and I couldn't like go back and re-sing it because... <laughs> I was having a hard time with my whistle too, so Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's pretty wild, isn't it? Mm -hmm. Man. Quite impressive. Wow. You gotta see if it works. <laughs> yeah, we'll play a, a tune off it at some point here. We cleaned the attic out and I uh, came across uh, the like the bin that had a full had our first um, financial records from Hayes <laughs> and a little spiral notebook. I we didn't get paid much for some of those shows, guys. <laughs> we Mark, got paid. <laughs> Mark, I can I can I can guarantee it hasn't gotten any better. <laughs> the Christmas present uh, uh, that you gave us all at Christmas one time, Dave. Uh, have that. Found that in there. Cool. What was that, Mark? Oh, Dave, Dave had uh, recorded some songs for the Christmas present. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. The yeah. cassette was wrapped with like, like a present uh, inside of it and I found that. Very cool. Got that. I was just remembering, what was the Christmas yeah. albums when we were, we were over at your place and we were like swapping Christmas albums or something like that? I just, 
like, like, I can't remember what it was like, Tijuana Brass Christmas or something like that, <laughs> or something, something goofy. Yeah. Hey, so I want to know how long it took you to throw down, you know, the rough version of, uh, the Christian man rejoice. I love it. Um, you probably did that pretty quick. Uh, I, I worked on it over a weekend. Okay, good. I uh, know it took more than an hour. <laughs> well, it, <laughs> it, it's a lot of setup and stuff like that, getting it ready, and then just. That was awesome. Um, but, you know, it was just about as long as it took to play the parts. And I spent more time futzing around with the uh, um, the organ controller. Because the draw bars weren't working properly, or, and uh, I spent more time with that than actually playing the part. Because yeah. you know, I only I played the part a couple times and it was done. Uh, same with all the stuff; it it, w it went pretty fast. Um, I think recording the uh, um, the vocals was probably the harder part, the, the especially on the Re rejoice things. I I tried to record early in the morning. It wasn't it wasn't a good time to do that. It was. It's kind hard to sing uh, and hold a note out that long and stay in tune. I did a couple of sample recordings. I'm like, I think you just want me to sing on the chorus, and um, I'll I'll send you a file. But you know, <laughs> you have full artistic license. <laughs> uh, it, as much as you can muster up to do, you know, if uh, you know, I'm saying. Good Christian men rejoice. You know, if, if you sing a harmony against that, I'll stick it in. <laughs> you know? Just like what we used to do back in the day. Yeah, back in the day, like we, we would work for hours. <laughs> <laughs> well, we're, we're much more uh, together now. We're not in our 20s, so now we can work much faster, right? Yeah, we have to work faster. We don't have much time. <laughs> that, that's time to work Dave, you, you're going to record the drums today, Dave? You got the uh, double bass. Uh, right. <laughs> <laughs> little, little I do have a double bass kit. Tonight? I, I, I think Dave's going to work on some vocals tonight with Cliff. All right. And uh, that should be some fun. That'd be great. And then we're going to fix Cliff's bass. What's wrong with the bass? It needs to be in tune with itself. I play it all the time. I switch strings. It's just out in left field somewhere now. Okay. Got it. Yeah, so you were, you were playing with, like, uh, Willow Creek for a long time. Yes, I still am. So I play at least once a month. Awesome. And sometimes twice. And, yeah, I no more Rickenbackers or Gibsons or anything. I got a Stingray 5. All right. Very cool bass. What's that? You still work on a lot of equipment? I have a well, I repair mostly my own stuff now. I don't get a chance to really work on a whole lot anymore. I have switched to doing almost entirely IT work, um, which is why I can't wait to retire. <laughs> <laughs> um, but uh, yeah, I, I fix a lot of my own stuff because obviously it's breaking all the time. I had to teach myself how to tune pianos and tune them cool. somewhat quickly. Because I, I, I try to record everything with a real piano in the studio. We've got a really nice one. and nice. Uh, But, you know, changing seasons and uh, it's out. It, and usually, yeah. with how heavy-handed I am when, with my playing, by the time we get done recording a song, it's usually a little bit out already. Mm -hmm. So, I don't know. <laughs> it's a lot, of, a lot of work, yeah. Yeah, it, it's a lot of stuff because it's a full, full-on studio. We got every possible thing you could ever want in a studio. Get up closer.
we go see these guys. <laughs> <laughs> I listened to seven of the songs this morning, or this, when I got home from work, and I thought, God, what it would take to redo, <laughs> to be able to get out and play these songs again. I, I, I thought about this the other day. You have, it, Mark, listening to the stuff, you kind of go, how hard would it be to learn those things again? <laughs> I don't even play in that style anymore, you know? Right, right. Um, so that'd be very difficult. Do you still have the concert head? Yeah, I was just thinking that. I'm like, I've got a Super Champ. Yes. No well, well, I remember the Super Champ. That was a great sounding amp. It was really a fun little practice amp. It yeah. Still, still is. But yeah. Missed that. 410 cabinet and uh, just the concert. Love that. Yeah. It sounded great. I still had the Ibanez 12 string. I still got the, the at least a couple of the guitars. I got the Explorer and the uh, SG. Do one of the first the first songs that we were, where the guitars are, it's just the guitars, like Truth or... Uh, oh, 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 I mean, no, um, what was the one? Need the list? <laughs> yeah. Because some of those guitar, the guitar stuff you guys did together was incredible. And I wish I could keep all my bases, but I only got one, so... I like yeah. to play more than collect. What? <laughs> Yeah, I, I, that reverb was the stairwell in the church building. Remember really? We just set up a, a microphone in the stairwell. Yeah. Do you remember that, Mark? That's, That's I right. Because that. we recorded that on my brother-in-law, Jim, loaned us a, I can't remember what the, Tanberg or something like that. It was a reel-to-reel, -reel, a stereo reel-to-reel. -reel, and we just recorded it all live to reel-to-reel. -reel. Yeah. It was on the second floor we recorded it, I remember. Hmm. <laughs> yeah, I just remember floor was flooded. <laughs> <laughs> running down the hall, listen to it, nope, come back, run, just constantly. <laughs> we got a lot of steps back then. Uh, yeah, soon the doors will open. open. So yeah. <laughs> Mike Mouth walking down the hallway recording his boots. <laughs> yeah. Oh, decisions? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> okay, well. Yeah, time to get to work. Yeah, time to get to work. And how about you? Gonna get, are you going to work on that then? Um, I played with it a little bit, you know, and uh, you have already written in on, like, a, a harmonies on the, just the Rejoice, you know. Sounds yeah, like I, I want to hear your voice on the verses, though. Um, so maybe if you, like, played around with uh, some lines, it's, like, it's not coming, like, right off the top to me. Uh, your, your vocal is so good. I don't want to mess with it. You, mess you aren't going to mess it up. Even if you sang the same it. line, it just I, I give you a verse, and you can just sing the verse. Uh -huh. Well, if I just do a uh, track of the whole thing, and then you listen to it, and you see if it's usable, yeah. or whatever. Yeah, it'd be, it'd be just great can, so we can say, all right, this was Damascus out, then. Right? What's that? You can just edit in and out uh, whatever parts you want to use. Absolutely. All right, have fun. All right. Talk to you guys later. Okay, okay see you, Mark. Mark. Bye.